It's ephemeral, yet tangible, essential, but ordinary. It's water, and not just any water, fresh water, rain. Water covers the earth. From high altitude cloud droplets, to great underground aquifers, to endless places in between, the water cycle keeps it all in motion. Earth vibrates with life because of water. From up here, you can see everything too. And everything is just about what you need to know when you're studying precipitation. Here's how to do it. A fleet of international spacecraft, headlined by a core US-Japanese satellite, will produce the most precise global rain and snow data ever. Called Global Precipitation Measurement, or GPM, the mission promises to transform how we even think about rainfall and freshwater management. And measuring total rainfall is just the beginning. Insight comes from careful distillation of data, helping experts turn streams of observations into rivers of useful science. Although we've studied the water cycle before, surface radar and rain gauges don't provide enough measurements. Even with all of the red dots on this map, vast stretches of land are empty. And the oceans, the largest portion of Earth's surface, have no rain gauges at all. Satellites flying above see everything. GPM provides perspective, detail, and precision. Perhaps you've never considered this. Saltwater oceans evaporate fresh water into the atmosphere as winds fetch their way across endless blue air picks up moisture from evaporation adding water to the atmospheric layer closest to earth's surface there's only one way moisture can go higher atmospheric plumes called convective towers shoot moisture high above the earth this moisture helps regulate climate some water will inevitably drop as rain over land, but most will fall back into the sea. Rain is often a harbinger of severe weather. With the right conditions, mighty tropical storms can spin up, some set on collision courses with land. These storms, hurricanes and typhoons, some of the most powerful things on Earth, Demand accurate forecasts and emergency responses. How does GPM work? Satellites are like surgical suites 
They have specialized instruments to do specific, highly precise tasks. GPM sensors can see inside weather system structures, through clouds in other words, like CAT scans looking inside human bodies. Once processed, the data will reveal 3D images of internal cloud structure. Along with corresponding rainfall rates, scientists will gain new insights into how water falls around the planet. Through its unprecedented global data collection, GPM will improve water management at local scales. And let's face it, you live at the local scale. Looking down from above the thickened sky, everything is clearer. Evaporated water condensing in the atmosphere falls out, stirring dull roots with spring rain, ensuring life for billions. Too much rain, floods. Not enough rain, drought. Water. Humanity's timeless connection to the natural world. From food production, to urban sustainability, to one of the most important international strategic assets, fresh water is always the ultimate natural resource. Global freshwater management promises to be one of the most complex political and engineering challenges of the 21st century. Endlessly in transition, water shapes the physical and living earth even as humanity tries to harness it. With GPM, the poetry of rainfall and the rigors of accurate data flow into meaningful science. 